this is rajesh kumar from rajesh biogenesis csr and gate chemistry academy and we are offering especially chemistry course in hyderabad okay so only one institute uh, through the ap which can use only chemistry academy that is none other than rajesh biogenesis academy and uh, let us discuss the actual key topic which will plays an important role in reagents that is none other than stereochemistry okay so stereochemistry is one of the topic which will gives nearly 90% of reagents related questions nearly 90% of reagent related questions means see even though if you are very strong in reagents but what happens see depends upon the situation of selectivity of options unable to predict the answer why because out of four options you know what will be the actual answer regarding to the topic but it is un a, unable to predict what will be the actual answer why because all options are remains same but only thing is slight change in stereochemistry so let us discuss i would like to explain complete analysis of stereochemistry which will plays an important role in reagents especially this can helps in your section c okay so see here topic which is plays in this case here it is stereochemistry stereochemistry is a uh, important area for your csr chemistry part of you especially it is related to part c so without stereochemistry unable to attempt reagent related questions so let us discuss the key topic which is in this case here see so we know that stereo stereo is completely related to a term which is belongs to space and we know what is chemistry so stereo is a word which is none other than which is related to space suppose see i would like to consider a molecule okay so i am taking one molecule so this molecule geometry if you want to consider what about the geometry of this molecule molecule geometry completely it is uh, depends on it is completely depends on now see it is a spatial arrangement of it is completely depends on spatial arrangement of atoms okay molecule is completely designed such a way that it is completely depends upon the atoms orienting on that molecule so this molecule geometry completely depends on spatial arrangement spatial arrangement is nothing but orientation of atoms keep on exchanging from above below left right like that okay so suppose best example for this one suppose see this is a carbon atom known one for you so here this is a and see this is b and c and this is completely d now four atoms are present over here now okay and everyone knows that carbon in their tetravalency it will shows a tetrahedral arrangement of geometry so now here it is tetrahedral geometry once if it is shows a tetrahedral geometry so whenever if there is a spatial arrangement okay so spatial arrangement is going on now whenever is any spatial arrangement is taking place on this particular molecule finally what happens see here there is a orientation of groups are going to be takes place here now so this is b c and this is finally d now see this molecule due to spatial arrangement of atoms from this particular cases there is a slight distortion okay there is a slight distortion is going to be takes place here okay there is a slight distortion is going to be takes place on geometry of a molecule so where it is takes place on geometry so whenever if any slight distortion takes place on geometry of a molecule definitely whatever the chemical properties are related to this tetrahedral geometry and this one see due to spatial arrangement of this one now molecular properties are completely alters okay so now molecular properties molecular properties are changes molecular properties are changes why molecular properties are changes molecular properties are changes due to distortion slight distortion on geometry so number of molecular properties we can consider so we can say that is physical properties such as melting point boiling point density etc physical point is completely changes and one more thing is see we can also consider dipole moment dipole moment of a molecule is also slightly it is changes and finally and reactivity reactivity of a molecule is also 
it is uh, slightly changes. So, I would like to discuss about the stereochemical uh, special properties molecular geometry. So, whenever if molecule having a, a specified geometry, okay, fixed geometry, when atoms are exchanging, definitely there is a slight distortion takes place. Ultimately, molecular properties are changes. When molecular properties changes, then its physical properties also changes, such as molecular properties, physical properties, dipole moment, reactivity, approximately all are going to be altered. Okay, and very very important thing in this uh, stereochemistry is representing a molecule. So, representing a molecule is nothing but see. So, suppose see if you consider variable molecules, variable molecules are approximately it is going to be represented in 3D. 3 dimensionally we are representing. It is not possible to represent any 3 dimensional molecule on 2 dimensional board. Okay? So, now see if you represent any 2 dimensional 3 dimensional molecule into 3 dimensional molecule. Okay? 3 dimensional molecule if you want to represent into 2 dimensional molecule. This is nothing but a molecular molecular projections this is called molecular projections. So, molecular projections are nothing but representing any molecule. Okay? So, from higher part to lower part is nothing but a molecular projections. So, molecular projections are gets altered over here now. So, molecular projections are further classified into variable types. Okay? So, molecular projections first one we need to know that see this is wedge projection molecular projections first one wedge projection. Okay. Next is Fisher projection. Okay. So, next is Fisher projection. Next is now we can consider Newman projection. Next is Newman projection. Next finally, see this is Sahars projection. Next is Sahars projection. So, totally in order to represent any three dimensional molecule into a two dimensional molecule, okay, we can represent in the form of a molecular projections. Molecular projections are nothing but we can represent any three dimensional molecule into the form of a two dimensional molecule that is nothing but a molecular projection. So, molecular projections are further classified into Wedge projection, Fisher projection and Newman projection and one more is Sars projection like this. Okay. So, according to Wedge projection, he was saying that so, bonds are further classified into bonds are three types. He was explaining that bonds are generally they are classified into three types. Okay. So, first case of bond is now see this is nothing but a C thick line bond. Thick line bond is nothing but so generally they will represent like this. Thick line is nothing but so this bonding interaction this is nothing but above the plane. Okay. So, this is completely belongs to above the plane. Thick line indicates above the plane. Okay. And one more is there. So, this is nothing but dotted line. So, wherever dotted lines are present like this C. Now, see this is a dotted line bond, bond with related to dotted line. So, this is nothing but what is it? Below the plane. This is completely belongs to below the plane. And one more thing is there. So, this is completely belongs to solid line. This is called solid line. Okay. So, wherever solid line is there, which indicates that that complete bond which is attaches to atom is completely related to in plane. Okay? So, these are the three terms which are explained by wedge. Based on wedge, one can determine that which is above and which is below, which is in plane. And finally, we came to know that how the atoms are arranges and we can assume that in a two dimensional board, how atoms are going to be arranges, either above the plane or below the plane or in plane, finally, like this. So, best example I would like to explain this one. See. So, I would like to take a molecule with a carbon hydrogen, now here hydrogen, now see here I am taking one hydrogen molecule, now see this is one more hydrogen like this. Now, this is nothing but a solid line. Okay? Now, what is this? This is nothing but a dotted line and completely this is nothing but see this is solid, this is also nothing but thick line, thick solid, solid thick. Okay? So, this is completely related to it is completely related to above the plane. Dotted line indicates this is completely related to below the plane. And what about solid line indicates? It is completely belongs to in plane. So, like that we can assume that how atoms are going to be oriented within the molecule. Okay? One is orienting above the plane or top of the plane like this. It is going to be oriented like this top of the plane and this is 
below the plane and this is completely orienting in plane. This is having in plane geometry and these two having out of plane geometry. Out of plane means these two are out of plane. It is orienting above and below and see this is completely belongs to in plane geometry. Okay? So, that is a normal explanation regarding to Fisher projection for uh, wedge to Fisher projection. So, wedge projection is a alternative source for representing any molecule into a regular source of Fisher. Okay? So, based on wedge projection one can know that how the atoms or groups are orienting any molecule with their regular arrangements. So, now with the modified form of wedge, modified form of wedge is nothing but a Fisher orientation. So, in Fisher orientation we need to learn wedge orientations. Okay? So, now we are going to learn about Fisher projection. Okay? Now, see this is this is Fisher projection. Okay? Now, this is a Fisher projection like this. So, in Fisher projection what happens see first we need to assume that a vertical column should be selected. Vertical columns otherwise you can take a top carbons which should be in a vertical line. First we should select a longest carbon chain. Okay? Longest carbon chain should be selected. First we need to select a longest carbon chain. Okay? Then followed by C always it is represented by. Okay? So, it is completely represented by cross section. Okay. Most of the cases in Fisher projection molecule is completely represented by a cross section like this. So, here it is this is a cross section. So, this point is nothing but a now most of the cases this is called Kiral center. It is nothing but a Kiral center. Okay. So, now after representing a molecule with a cross section every cross section is nothing but a carbon that carbon is bonded by four different atoms. Now, let us one more thing here see suppose see if any molecule suppose if molecule having a asymmetric center otherwise you can say Kiral center if molecule having a asymmetric center or Kiral center. Now, see this is asymmetric center it is also nothing but a asymmetric form. Okay? So, if any molecule having a asymmetric center so we can say blindly only cross section belongs to now whatever the cross section which you are taking only cross section it is completely belongs to Kiral center which indicates that that is only Kiral center should be represented. Okay? First we need to select a longest carbon chain and every cross section belongs to a carbon and one more thing is every cross section if any asymmetric is there nothing but Kiral center is there that is completely belongs to only Kiral center. Okay? Every asymmetric center should be considered as a Kiral center. So, after assuming that if it is a Kiral center in a molecule. Okay? So, first thing will be we need to write a selections here now. So, selections regarding to this is cross section selections here. Now, every longest molecule suppose see every molecule having two terminals. Now, here we are taking a two terminals like this. Okay? Every molecule should be having a two terminals like this. See this is a terminal and this is also one more terminal two terminals we are taking now. Okay? So, which terminal should be top? Okay? Either you can take this as a top and see generally this as a bottom. Okay? In Fisher projection while selecting a top and bottom one should represent such a way that see always top atom top atom in a top atom in a molecule. Okay? So, this is the top atom. So, atom means here moreover it is having a it may be either carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, anything. Okay? So, this all are arranged in the form of a groups like this. These all are arranged in the form of a groups. Here I am saying that atom means this carbon atom is present in this particular group. So, let us discuss one more actual point here related to the top group which we need to going to represent. Now, two terminals.